I do feel uh, optimistic, you know, and um, for for peculiar reasons, because you know people who are completely involved with electoral politics would think that that just six months after a government has won a major majority, it, it's a strange time for such an uprising. But I don't think it's a strange time. It it came on on the back of, you know, uh, the abrogation of Section 370, the heartbreaking judgment of the Ayodhya judgment, and then this. And it was the straw that broke the camel's back. And what's really important about this, even though general elections are four years away, is that this movement blunts the only weapon that the BJP RSS has, you know, which is communal hatred. I think that now the genie can't go back into the box, you know, the, the Muslim population coming out, Muslim women coming out, young Muslim women coming out, this is a great thing, you know, because it's been so contracted. How, uh, how can Muslims have a voice? So far, They've been pushed out of the media, they've been pushed out of uh, obviously the political, uh, the political arena. And the only people that were allowed to speak were people, Maulanas, and people who were furthering the kind of uh, right-wing Hindu agenda. Now you have a plethora of Muslim voices, radical voices, women's voices, all kinds of voices, a range, you know. So, uh, this is not, uh, you can see from the range of these voices that it isn't an organized movement, you know. There are slogans that come up which are uncomfortable for some people and not for others. There's a kind of uh, chaos in it which is beautiful. While we are looking at people, poets, dancers, painters, writers, students, blunting this weapon in myriad ways, the other thing we are seeing, which is very important, is a kind of federalization of India structurally, while these people lose state election after state election. And so I, I feel it's very important for us to respect that federalism, you know, because I think that a kind of deep federalism is the only alternative to balkanization. As you know, and I know, the whole reason for the mobilization around NRC, CA is totally different in the Northeast, as it should be. Um, everywhere else, you know, the, the, uh, we have to s sort of make sure that state governments do what Bengal, Kerala, Punjab and all are doing, which is to refuse to implement this. At a district level, people have to force the district officials they have to boycott the NPR, they have to refuse to give their papers. As a writer, does it fuel, fuel you with new ideas, new inspiration? <laughs> well, you know, um, I'm actually just writing about that now. And uh, there are two things that happen if you're a writer, you know. On the one hand, uh, it's, it's wonderful to be in these huge crowds, but I'm not such a one to address these huge audiences because to me I feel that as a writer I think the text needs to accommodate our complexity and our density against this oversimplification that fascism demands of us you know so that complexity and intricacy is not the space for a soapbox speech by me so I just want to come out and say in Pilab, Zindabad, but you know, the writing, yeah, the writing happens in a more private space, but yeah, it's, it's exhilarating.